Hi, do you have a hard time focusing in the basketball game or get easily distracted? I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn, and today I'm going to teach you some cues or some mental strategies to help you focus better during the game. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So one of the challenges my students talk about a lot is they tend to lose focus during the basketball game. Um, and that can come from many different things. But generally, there's two types of distractions that I like to talk about. One is the externals. There's a lot of things going on around you during the basketball game. Obviously, your teammates calling out for the ball, for example, or maybe you have opponents trying to taunt you, or maybe it's coming from your bench and your coach yelling out instructions. The other bench, people in the stands. I mean, there's so many external distractions going on that you really have to be in the zone and really have to focus your best. However, that's not the hardest distraction to cope with. Most of the time, it's internal distractions. What are internal distractions? Those are the distractions that happen all on your own, where you start to think ahead. Maybe you're focused on your stats. Maybe you're focused too much on disappointing your teammates. Or maybe you get distracted because of a giveaway or you missed a shot. It could be any mistake that you start to dwell on and get distracted on. So you have both external, those around you, and you have the internal distractions, which are often the toughest to overcome. Yes, those external are easy for most athletes. It's the internal, the ones that come from within your own mind that you trigger those all on your, uh, by your own. So what's the solution? How can you focus your best? Okay, based upon your position, you have to start by defining what's relevant to your performance. That means anything inside the court, what do you have to focus on? Uh, for example, if you're a forward, you have to focus on running the plays. Maybe you think about um, getting open, creating space if you're off the ball. Maybe thinking about setting a pick. Um, you also have to think about things like when you get the ball, what are you going to do with the ball? Are you going to drive to the basket? Are you going to shoot? All of those things are highly relevant. We call those performance cues. So what I'd like you to do is define your performance cues on offense and define your cues for defense, what you need to focus on. Those shouldn't be really technical and you don't want to overthink it at all. Now, the next step is to be aware of your top distractions. What are the externals that tend to get in your head? Is it the coach? Is it the bench? Is it opponents? Uh, note that, and then what are the internal distractions? Is it dwelling on mistakes? Is it thinking too far ahead? Is it worrying about the score? Is it worrying about your stats? Is it thinking about people in the stands that are watching you? There could be many external and internal distractions that tend to get in your head, but you want to be aware of those distractions. Why? Because you're human, your mind is going to wander to those distractions. They're kind of your own personal hot buttons in essence. Once you do get distracted, you want to catch yourself and try and refocus. All you have to do is be aware of it and say, you know what, that's not important. Let's get my mind in the game or let's get focused on the court. Let's get focused on this transition. Let's get focused on running this play or let's get focused on making this stop on defense and getting a turnover. That's all you have to do. Easier said than done. Thanks. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.